Hello everyone, welcome back. I thought I'd do another vlog because I haven't done one in a little while. We're starting the vlog on Thursday because I was invited to the Harrods Wellness Clinic for a medical pedicure with Amber Kibby, who's a podiatrist. I didn't even realise Harrods had a wellness clinic, so I was very excited to go. This is the entrance area, just had a little look around because I was quite early. There's lots of luxury skincare brands. After completing my medical forms, I went and sat in the beautiful waiting area. I really wasn't sure what to expect from the treatment, but it's essentially a comprehensive review of your foot health. I have absolutely hideous feet, so I was excited to hear what she had to say. She mentioned that the bunions I have, which are quite apparent, are the result of a genetic condition and that I likely have hypermobility in my toe joints. I will probably need surgery at some point in my later life to correct them. She gave my feet a really nice deep clean and she was overall just really lovely. I haven't actually been to Harrods that many times, so I had a look around the beauty section afterwards. They're really strict about filming, so I only filmed in the concessions that allowed it, but I had a look around Prada and Charlotte Tilbury mostly. I do really want to try one of Prada's lipsticks. The new Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Burst palette looks stunning. The colours are absolutely beautiful, but I have so many eyeshadow palettes I still need to try, so I held off from buying this. They've also released their little Christmas gift sets. They make such good presents. Spot the Olivia. It's so easy to get lost in Harrow's, but eventually I did find my way out, and there was this nice Valentino Christmas tree outside. I had a L'Oreal skincare event after that, so I wandered over. It was called the Destination Dermatological Beauty Event with SkinCeuticals, La Roche-Posay, Vichy and CeraVe. They had this little airport set up in the entrance, which was really sweet. I got myself a green smoothie and then spoke to one of the organisers about what to expect. There were different counters downstairs featuring the different brands' products, mostly the new releases and the best sellers. I was mostly interested in skin cuticles because I've never tried any of their products before. I also have very reactive skin and I've heard that some of their products are really good for that. After trying some of the products on the back of my hand, I wandered into the main area and they had different rooms set up for different stages of your skincare. One of the rooms had a device that took photos of the different layers of your skin and then gave you a predicted age. Mine came out as 30 and I'm 31 so I was happy with that. Overall a very humbling experience though. I sat on a sofa outside the main hall to ponder my life choices for a bit. I've developed a bad habit of clicking my neck. Feels absolutely stunning but do not recommend. Then I went back upstairs thinking it was time to leave and then I realised that they'd set up this little like Polaroid area so I had my photo taken. Can you tell I was hypnotised by the printer? I thought it was a very fun little souvenir and then one of the lovely organisers gave me a goodie bag. The specific items they included were tailored to whatever the outcomes of the different rooms downstairs were, which is fun. I go through them later. You'll already have seen some footage from Thursday, which is when I went to Harrods for my medical pedicure and to the L'Oreal skincare event. It's currently Saturday morning. I'm going to have a quiet day today and then I'm going to go out tomorrow and do a couple of things. So I thought I would take you with me. My camera doesn't like it when I film in direct sunlight, so I waited for some shade. I am currently editing this vlog. I've come to realise that my editing process needs to start while I'm still filming the vlog so that I'm not overwhelmed with clips at the end. Also side note, but the By the Fireplace candle by Replica smells absolutely stunning for winter. I was pondering the chaos of my makeup corner and then I remembered that I hadn't shown you the products I got in my L'Oreal goodie bag yet, so here we go. They gave me a couple of cleansers to try. This first one is the CeraVe SA Smoothing Cleanser and this second one is also by CeraVe but it's the Hydrating Cleanser. If you followed me on Instagram for a while you know I absolutely love the La Roche-Posay Anthelios SPF 50 and they gave me another one as a top up. They also gave me a couple of serums by Vichy. This first one is the Lift Active Supreme Hyaluronic Acid Serum and this Hyaluronic Acid Serum is definitely not new to me. I've got through an entire bottle of this. I'm very happy to have another one. These last products are the ones I'm most interested in because they're both by SkinCeuticals. I got the Blemish and Age Defense Serum and the Silymarin CF Serum. I've now added these to the long list of skincare products I need to try. Then after finishing my coffee, I picked out the products I want to film videos on today. Because my skin can get quite irritated by repeated cleansing and because I work during the week so I need to batch film, I try to record in layers. So for example, I'll start with a foundation review and then I'll wear blusher on top of that for a different video and then eye products, lip products, etc. That way I have three or four videos and I can just take it all off at the end. This only took about an hour in total, it's the editing that takes a long time for me. The most interesting product I tried was definitely this Pretty Grunge Blush Gloss by Huda Beauty. It starts off clear and then becomes pink when you apply it to your skin. Definitely not a new concept, but I really like the texture and I love the shade of pink. 
then before taking all of my makeup off and putting my equipment away I just go through the footage to make sure that I have clips of everything I want. Fortunately I did so I started transferring some files onto my phone for editing. While I was waiting for them to transfer I played with Putty for a little bit. If you're new here Putty is my tiny 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 dwarf hamster. She is a Campbell dwarf. Over the last month or so she's become a lot more sociable and she absolutely loves coming out of her cage and just climbing on me or climbing on the sofa. When I come home from work during the week she's usually sat outside her little house in her cage waiting. Because she's so soft and light it really tickles when she touches my skin. <laughs> my last hamster Squishy died when she was just over a year old. She was a Roborowski hamster. I was absolutely traumatised when she died and it took me over a year to buy another one but I'm so glad I did. Squishy was very independent and not very sociable, whereas Putty is the complete opposite. She is a very sociable little fluff. A lot of that is down to the breed and of course I love them equally. I decided to go to the park so I applied my SPF. I'll link those two products down below, they're my absolute favourites. It's about a 25 minute walk from my flat but I felt like getting the steps in and I love this park so much. This area in particular is so beautiful. I always forget this heron is not a statue. So many people walk their dogs here and it makes me want a dog even more. I so badly want a tiny little fluffy white pom. I walked past a very festive looking holly bush and then made my way to the main area of the park. It's so nice and spacious and they have this lovely little cafe. It's often outdoors during the summer and autumn months where you can buy coffee. I resisted the Bailey's hot chocolate and got a cappuccino instead and then I sat down and started listening to my audiobook. I was listening to The Winter Spirits which is an anthology of ghost stories. It was pretty good, there were a few stories in there that I found quite creepy. While audibling I did the final edits on my latest reel, just going through and correcting the captions etc. It was me trying the Huda Beauty blush gloss which I filmed earlier today. Then after some animal watching I went into the rose garden which is my favourite part of the gardens. They are the loveliest smelling roses I have ever smelt and even though they're all around the perimeter of the gardens there was only one rose. They are out of season at the moment so I think that one was particularly strong. Then I remembered the coffee, it had already gone cold but I did down it. And then I made my way back, being in nature makes me so happy so I'm glad I went. Hello everyone, it is Sunday morning and I am going to leave in about 10 minutes for brunch with my friend and then I have a pedicure afterwards. I'm not sure I'll film very much of the brunch because I don't think she'll want to be on camera, which is absolutely fine. I'll try to show you my food at least. And then I will take you along to the pedicure as well. I've been going through my wardrobe and replacing as much as I can with higher quality bits at the moment and I bought this from the Outnet, I'll link it below, I absolutely love it, it's 100% wool. It was her birthday, a little sneak peek of the present and on the tube I was reading Nausea by Sartre. We went to Drunch in Oxford Circus which was okay. Inside was absolutely boiling and very cramped so we sat outside which was a lot better because there were heaters. I ordered the heart shaped Nutella filled pancake and it didn't really have much Nutella in it, it was also a little bit burnt. The Dior Latte Art was fun though and my friend really liked her meal. I've decided after looking at this footage that I will not be candid going forward. It was so nice to catch up with her and she seemed to like her present so I'm happy with that. By the way the lip combo here is the Refi Lip Sculpt in blush and then I'm wearing the Clarins Lip Oil in Pattaya over the top. I'll link those down below and I'll also link the jumper. I lost track of time and then remembered I had a pedicure booked so I ran over to that. This was Coco Nails Club. It's my favourite place for a gel pedicure. I carried on listening to my audio book, also read some of my physical book and did some video editing. Beautiful. Right, I have just got home and I think I'm going to close out this vlog here because I'm just going to be doing housework for the rest of the day. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any comments or questions or anything down below and I will see you soon. Goodbye! I know sit down makeup videos tend to do better on my channel but I wanted to bring you along to some of these fun things so I really hope you enjoyed it. And as I said in the outro, please let me know if you have any video ideas or just general comments or questions. I'll link as many products that I use down below as possible. I'm aiming for a video every two weeks and eventually one every week, so stay tuned. There'll be another one soon.